Hello everyone, my name is Gnana Raju. I'm a certified nutritionist, fitness consultant and wellness coach working for the last 18 and a half years. Uh, with my experience, I would like to present you one of the wonderful videos on uh, sleep. Particularly, a lot of people ask me, how to get good sleep, sir? Sleep is a big problem for me. So, I want to tell you sleep is very, very, very essential for your uh, you know, personal development and uh, personality. If you don't sleep, it's just like, you know, in the shrink. Suppose if you don't cleanse the vessels in the kitchen, you know, shrink. What will happen? It will start smelling, you know. If you don't uh, clean for uh, one day only, it will start smelling. Same way with our, you know, uh, with our sleep also. If you don't uh, sleep properly, next to three, four days, you know, it will become, body becomes weak and uh, sluggish and the productivity all goes down. So then uh, next issue is how to get a good sleep, how to get a great sleep, how to get a deep sleep. This is the question. So we have a lot of tips for you. We'll discuss about, uh, about 30 minutes. So let us uh, uh, have a look. So before that, let me introduce about myself. I was a former district registrar, group one officer, worked in the government of Andhra Pradesh for 10 years. Then I quit my job. And now uh, I'm a 20K senior executive president member uh, of Herbalife Nutrition, nutritionist and as a fitness consultant, personal wellness coach working for the last 18 and a half years. I have a lot of certifications in nutrition, fitness and the sports nutrition consultant and uh, certified exercise science specialist triathlete, marathon runner, cyclist, and CPR AID certified Zumba, strong by Zumba instructor. So to reach out to me, you can, um, I am available through Coach Gnana Raju in my Instagram and Facebook handles and also through Gnana Raju, my name. So the Sasper Sleep Foundation, uh, Sleep Foundation, there are uh, given set of, you know, uh, timings, you know, how many hours a person is supposed to be uh, sleeping in the ideal circumstances. So with the age, usually it requires to be increasing more sleep. Uh, like a newborn require even more time of hours, right? So usually for uh, adults, it's seven to eight hours of good sleep. Quality sleep is more essential rather than quantity of sleep. So there is a survey in the US that about 35% of the people, they suffer from the sleeplessness or insomnia. So sleep is very, very important. So there, there are a lot of conditions for it. Outside forces, inside forces, intrinsic factors and outside extrinsic factors. We'll discuss a little while, a little while now. Why sleep is important? Uh, better memory also through memory consolidation. If there is not enough uh, sleep, then memory power goes down and energy goes down, productivity goes down. You know, mood uh, always ends up in you know, irritation, anger, all this frustration, all that will be. Bad moods will come and the stress will increase and uh, physical performance also goes down. Obesity uh, ends up in you know, obesity and overweight and uh, you end up in eating a lot and the metabolism and appetite goes down. And because of that weight loss also will not happen. Even if you're under doing exercise or any program under weight loss, that also will not happen. So it affects the heart health and the blood uh, pressure, BP will be touched and digestion also will be prop improper and a lot of inflammation and pain, joint pains and other pains will start coming up. And the overall wellness will be very slow. It's not great. So you feel, how are you feeling well? I said, not well, sir. What happened? Something, I'm not feeling well, sir. That happened because of sleep. So there's a, there's a reason why sleep is very, very essential. Good sleep is very important. So irritation, irritability, a slow reaction times, difficulty in making decisions. Sometimes it affects our business also, affects our career. You know, learning desires from children, particularly in the study time, they cannot concentrate. The memory power will not be there. The concentration power will not be there even for children. So that affects their studies, that affects their performance. Depression, memory impair, impairment, personality changes, obesity, diabetes, heart disease. You lot of many things are there related to lifestyle, particularly related to sleep. So Dr. David Heber he is a most soft after scientist, come doctor, professor at UC at University of California, Los Angeles, he says, even heart attack also, heart stroke, paralysis stroke, you know, a lot of things are there related to blood circulation. They also affected with the sleep. And the Dr. Mark Hyman says, sleep can lead to insulin resistance, diabetes, cardiovascular disease, mood swings, poor immune function. So meaning, um, immunity also goes down, hormonal imbalances, particularly PCOD, thyroid, a lot of hormones are there, imbalances, you know, a periods get uh, irregular and life, uh, lower life expectancy, you know, death rate also comes closer, right? So there is one more survey, one more research article saying daytime testosterone levels also goes down. 
meaning you know reproductive capacity also goes down the sperm count will go down so people do not conceive that's also a problem and so fertility goes down impotency will increase uh, sleep loss actually also increases you know uh, it reduces the nk cells activity natural killer cells they comes under you know nk cells part of the immune system so because of that when the nk cells goes down cancer growth will happen more so this is also one more research say, saying you know one more risk is you know with the loss of sleep memory loss and alzheimer disease also will come alzheimer's disease you all know it you know, memory loss and you forget about everything so particularly with the with the age these kind of issues are coming up and also result in mental health ch challenges depression suicidality suicide tendencies will come anxiety lot of bad things happen because of lack of sleep and uh, dr david heber also says uh, obesity also because of bad hormones production particularly with related to cortisol insulin and ghrelin these kind of hormones will come and the circadian rhythm a rhythm is something like a clock you know this uh, daytime clock circadian dian means daytime clock inside set is disturbed so those because of that you know uh, poor all they end up in eating lot feel like eating more and actually end up in uh, obesity or overweight weight gain so then uh, what are the symptoms of dysomnia dysomnia is something related to uh, insomnia uh, sleeplessness you know what will happen how what are the common symptoms one is longer than half an hour you fall asleep you don't uh, the moment you sleep you don't sleep and suddenly you wake up frequently in between start waking up and in, later on you don't get sleep wake up too early in the morning maybe 3 o'clock 4 o'clock or maybe 2 o'clock you wake up and you will be like that only because sleep is not come overly tired during the day time because of lack of sleep day time you get tired frequently so that affects your performance and sometimes because of snoring heavy snoring and you toss and turn throughout the night and vivid dreams also come so that disturb the sleep and wake up in the morning like a body becomes very heavy uh, because of that also water retention also will happen so the circadian rhythm sleep disorders also another thing so because this happening nowadays because of work shifts you know night shift you know late evening shifts all those kind of work shifts also similar to jet lag in the when you go to abroad you know jet lags will be similar to that whole things will disturb so that affect your overall performance and affect activity youngsters nowadays you know they are feeling this night shifts uh, because of our call center you know software jobs you know because of higher pay because of their work is with related to abroad timing so so they have this kind of problem initially with a smaller age in the initial days it looks nice but when they continue to do the same timings you know the total biological clock gets disturbed circadian rhythm gets disturbed they affect their you know reproductive capacity infertility a uh, lot of things are there so sleep disorders include sleep apnea sleep paralysis what is paralysis you know when you sleep all the body parts some body parts like a paralysis stroke like they don't move only you become numb sleeping pill is side effect some people they tend to eat sleeping sleeping pills like a food you should not take like a multivitamin sleeping pills are very dangerous so that should be taken as a last resort upon medical advice that also is last resort not as a first case first to do all these kind of tips whatever we are giving here uh, when it, nothing is happening then you can think of that also upon the prescription of a doctor that also you should not take it for longer hours longer day sleeping pill it has lot of side effects so insomnia you as i said about sleeplessness so there are intrinsic sleep disorders intrinsic means the inside reasons one is rest legs leg syndrome rls you know the this is a cause of pain or discomfort in the leg area lower leg that actually will not have, you know make you to sleep sleep apnea is upper airways becomes blocked choked because of that suddenly sleep, you know that uh, sleep, you know that air respiratory system get choked so you don't uh, suddenly get up so that is because of sleep apnea so there's a snoring also come a suddenly heavy breathing will come so they give you some medicine to keep it insomnia because of stress or medication if you don't take medication there will be other problem if you don't if you take it then sleep will not come stress also could be because of you know uh, insomnia also because of stress difficulty falling or staying asleep you might also wake up hours earlier than you should and can't fall back asleep 
during the day you might feel overly tired so your daily life becomes affected so number 3 periodic limb movements in sleep so suddenly jerk your arms and legs involuntarily the involuntary movement will come jerks will happen with the arms and legs because of that also you don't sleep there is also one of the important reason is stress you know work stress relationship stress anxiety you know all these causes you know don't feel like sleep so you are irritated you know the relations are improper between wife and husband between the children and the parents so you are gussa gussa angry angry so that actually you don't you don't you sleep but inside the software still running you know system is not shut down meaning the brain is active all the time so unless you shut down the system it's like a system computer so unless you shut down completely then still it is though you are sleeping but the inside the problem is there so what should we do one is asking for excuse in the bible it is mentioned you know ask for excuse forgiveness if each other so that actually heals us the sleep of a bible bible also says the sleep of a laboring man is sweet whether he eats little or much a person who does manual work labor hard labor he falls asleep whether he eats a lot or eats little and but the abundance of the rich will not permit him to sleep meaning the rich people they have lot of money but they don't get proper sleep they can afford the highest bed you know very high quality beds but sleep will not come because of fear worry you know doubt and all those things so what will happen to my future and all that so it is not the money makes you sleepy it is the labor so hard work makes you to sleep so well said no then the bible says very well so excuse ask for excuse forgiveness you know if you have any grudge ask for forgiveness you don't want don't keep anything in the mind settle down settle the problems and have a good relationship with everyone i uh, have a good uh, you know physical labor exercise always matters stimulants like a tea coffee try to cut down as much you can this actually linger for 3 hours in the brain in the blood circulation so even after consumption of the tea coffee after 3 4 hours you know then only can able to sleep so but suffers few people the other way is around meaning some people say sir if i don't have coffee or tea i don't sleep so for them it's good they are very less popular less than 5 to 10% of people but 90% people a night time tea coffee is not good so try to avoid it night time as much you can particularly even our afresh also don't have afresh has also caffeine and same time you know we have this herbal control herbal control we that also don't have it because it are calcium green tea black tea and you know oolong tea so cold feet particularly in the winter timings so try to cover it but people like thyroid affected people thyroid temperatures go high wide so because of the thyroid deficiency the temperature the main auto you know thermostat kind of thing it goes lost so that is the reason why in because of cold thunder they don't feel sleep so as we have to cover full body so preferably wear the socks you know if you are feeling very cold so body don't like too cold or too warm so a room temperature should be very nice you know reasonably warm reasonably so cool not cold cool and if you have any pain then also you don't get proper sleep right gary small so so what should we do when we have a pain so go and approach a doctor and try to overcome this pain by doing whatever precautions to be required to be done so our member of some uh, advisory board of herbal nutrition is an expert on the brain health he says set a regular sleep schedule that is very good for your sleep regular sleep schedule like how you eat in time morning breakfast so on so time lunch dinner time same way set a time for sleep don't uh, you know exceed that so say 9 o'clock is the bed time 9 o'clock be on the sleep don't to do delay 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 delaying and delaying all that number 2 allow ample time to relax before sleep so people suddenly they, you know they do hard work and immediately they want to sleep it will not come because still it is there in the mind the software is working so you have to give some time half an hour one hour time Stay, sit on the bed and maybe write a diary or relax you know maybe prayer or meditation or uh, maybe reading a book that will help you so come out of tv or you know cell phone and all that so that ample time to relax before sleep also makes you to sleep now avoid caffeine in excess during the evenings particularly get plenty of excess during the day when you manual labor if you know hard work you do sweat will go off and body tires and evening you'll sleep off but don't do heavy exercise before the bed time okay so a bed time routine is very important a routine like uh, body knows body has a clock biological clock 
So this biological clock, the circadian rhythms are set. That becomes like a habit. Some people wake up by five o'clock, just like alarm clock, you know, set it. Without, you know, alarm clock clicks, you know, ticks. Before that only, that man gets up. So that's called biological clock. So you have to respect the time, biological clock. You should not violate it. Then your sleep will be proper. So awake, when you awake, there are some hormones, adenosine levels goes up. You know, when you wake up, when you sleep, they goes down. And uh, a hormone called cortisol, bad, very bad hormones, they wake you up early morning. So these hormones actually causes, you know, wake you up, cortisol. But a hormone called melatonin that is uh, coming from the pituitary gland, you know, pineal gland, that actually makes you sleep, induces sleep. So to get a sleep, melatonin inducing products should be taken. The food or melatonin inducing things should be done. So light actually makes eyes wide, wide you know, um, more, uh, um, you know, vibrant. So what you have to do, light, the moment you wake up, immediately open, you know, open the curtain so that it will, uh, the light makes you come out of the sleep immediately. So adrenaline, epinephrine, cortisol, these hormones actually make you awake. Whereas uh, uh, melatonin hormone make you sleep, remember. So that's the reason why artificial light should not be there. Or any light, maybe light from the cell phone or from the TV, the blue light should not be there. Any light should not be there. Room should be completely dark before going to bed. So sleep hygiene is very important, meaning you have to brush your teeth. So when you're brushing teeth and the body knows that, you know, uh, this man actually going for a routine, but it's a bed routine and also sleep hygiene is very good. So that means you have to brush twice in a day and a full bladder, you know, you shouldn't uh, sleep with sleep full bladder. What will happen? If you drink lots of water or alcohol, anything, uh, you have to wake up in between. So that sleep gets disturbed for toilet. So that's the reason why better to avoid drinking heavy water or alcohol before the bedtime. So you should not eat before the bed. Like you should not have a snack also. Why? Your stomach is full naturally. You don't get proper sleep. Either stomach should not be, you know, two to three hours before, you know, bedtime, you should avoid anything. Two to three hours is good for the digestion point of view. Okay. So what kind of environment should be there? Optimal sleep environment. Number one is unplug. Don't keep any gadgets, you know, unplug all the things like no laptop, cell phone, you know, palm top, you know, desktop, nothing. So no TVs, you know, any electronic gadgets actually does more harm to you. So don't keep anything on the bed. Don't keep in this uh, closer place. So why? The radiation affects the brain. Brain has alpha waves, beta waves, gamma and theta waves and all that. So they actually affect interfere with our brain waves. Number two, there is a eye, rapid eye movement, you know, that also that is the moment you are watching it or staring at it. So you forget to, you know, um, blink. When you don't blink, naturally the tear glands or, you know, lacrimal glands, they don't produce. So that actually makes you eyes dry. So that actually affects, you know, sleep. So it will, eyes will pain, start paining. So that's why better to avoid these gadgets altogether. Don't keep anything closer. Stop watching or staring at the clock all the time. So people who usually watch the clock, usually they don't sleep because all the time in their mind, I have to get up, I have to do something. So that kind of thing will happen. So better to avoid that uh, habit of uh, keeping on watching at the clock, particularly in the bedtime, during the bedtime, right? So these are some of the keeping your bedroom cool and dark, no sweating or no freezing temperature should be there. Using your bed for sleep only. You should not use for bed for, you know, laptop or, you know, eating or anything. Bedtime, body knows that, you know, once you come there, bed, bed meant for sleep. So body automatically makes you to sleep. That environment makes you sleep. Avoiding harmful blue light from devices such as cell phone there in the hours before you go to the bed is also harmful. Wear light clothes. Don't wear tight clothes. During, that's why you have lungi or nighties or whatever. So noise-free environment actually very good. So when you're asleep, you should see that, you know, everything, curtains, everything close and see that all, all the music all go down. Your noise should be very minimal. So mattress, mattresses should be, there should not be bad mattresses. See that, you know, it has a flat. It shouldn't be undulating or wavy kind. So that actually affects the back and pains start happening. So keep a nice cushion below. Rapid eye movement, I, I said have rapid eye movements, you can get tired. You can also see that, you know, when you are not, uh, uh, getting proper sleep, try this exercise also. Keep on blinking more time. So if you do it for uh, one, two minutes, then 
eyes also become heavy and you get sleep also but that is uh, the, does not mean that you know everything this this only exercise will help you they all part, partly all together will help you okay a too uh, a too full of tummy meaning before the bed is tummy should not be full don't eat any heavy food then that also will not be uh, good for the sleep it doesn't mean you should be starving also no too light food starving or too much food they both of them are dangerous for sleep, not getting sleep so what are the foods that can you know be taken for having a proper sleep so there are some tryptophan rich foods magnesium rich foods and uh, you know melatonin inducing foods i'm going to talk about few first tryptophan inducing sleep foods like almond milk oats moong dal paneer chicken fish eggs you know amino acids tryptophan and, uh, good hormones they are very good for you know sleep so no alcohol uh, there are myth actually some people think you know alcohol uh, is good for my sleep no temporary it gives that uh, induces the sleep temporary it gives sedation it's not sleep you know toxic actually causes toxicity so it actually affects the liver and uh, uh, blood circulation and all these thing and actually affects you um, you know um, um, overall health so that's the reason why don't want alcohol don't become addicted to alcohol that you know don't have this mindset that you know only by taking alcohol i'll get sleep no only it only helps you for one two hours suddenly you wakes up from the alcohol the moment that uh, beat uh, that uh, you know sedation goes off then again sleep gets disturbed so don't do too much exercise before the bed and uh, before the bedtime is always dangerous and uh, any exercise for that matter always balance don't do too much anything and as i said remember b6 melatonin you know b6 vitamin actually is a precursor to the melatonin hormone okay so uh, where is it available in the fishes you know when you eat particularly ocean caught fish or you know when uh, you know, are fishes that are eating fish before the, the the evening dinner also be great help maybe like a snack fortified cereal see that it has b6 okay and even banana also good curd you know that also good it has this b6 uh, whole grains but also see that you know they shouldn't have too much of sugar too much of carbohydrates not good and um, uh, to shouldn't see that too much calories also not good calories and uh, sugar should not be there at same time only that you know the b6 should be there so apart from this you can also go for uh, you know diffuse lavender essential oil lavender essential oil there are some you know essential oils that actually gives you that aroma therapy you know that some smells may actually make you sleepy so try those kind of also are two aroma therapy but uh, you have to see everything in a holistic way don't see only one and maybe have a detox bath maybe little garam water bath that also help you and maybe drinking chamomile tea chamomile tea or chamomile tea whatever you call meditate and breathe sometimes meditation or better is prayer okay breathing that also maybe to some extent help okay so magnesium eating magnesium rich foods also help magnesium i already said about that magnesium and tryptophan and uh, other things you know um, uh, pressure points uh, through acupressure like uh, some of the pressure points also may be helpful ridge of the neck so before going to bed you know if you are too much in the you know text neck tech we call text neck the pressure fall on this so you can able to massage here ridge of the neck and uh, massage the foot you know here the place they pointed out and at the you know foot at the thumb with the above big toe there and uh, the back of the neck the skull and uh, wrist you know that certain certain areas if you can gently massage it, apply little pressure points maybe a little helpful relaxing you know so uh, the, if you are married you can ask your partner if you are not married ask your you know parent or anyone brother sister they will be helpful so i am coming to last part of your finishing touches i want to give the final closing have 6 to 8 hours of deep sleep if sleep is not coming start closing the day with the reading books soft music writing your diary etc but not watching tv no no news nor tv serials before the bed why they makes you again eyes alert because the moment you watch tv news serials suddenly thoughts will go here okay then they keep on lingering in your mind so st- software is still acting so you so that's the reason why don't want any thoughts to be you are coming in the mind before going to bed so some people say i am not getting sleep that is why i am watching tv that is why i am watching serial that is why i am you know reading the newspaper no 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 not newspaper not tv not uh, you know, serials 
but there are some other things if you are not getting TV, but not this, uh, not getting sleep. Then what should I do? I said music, read a book, read a book, write a diary. Then you see automatically sleep. Nice music. Okay, those things are good. Prayer, you automatically fall asleep. Okay, uh, so but not watching TV nor serials nor you know watching newspaper, reading newspaper or watching news. No, no, no. And another point is no entertaining calls after 9 p.m. Don't entertain. Most of the night calls, nighttime calls, after nine o'clock people calling, usually they call out of their anger. They wanted to share their emotions to you, their anger, frustration, depression, and all that. So they will become relaxed after sharing their problems to you. And you would start thinking and you, you, you don't get your sleep. You'll be all the time, night, or whole night, you'll be thinking about them. So that's why don't entertain those things. You entertain them in the morning, not in the night. I, in my experience, after 9 p.m., don't end. I switch off my phone or I keep in cell phone silent mode. I don't, I don't allow any calls. After early morning, in the, in the early morning, I'll call them. So the early morning is okay because by evening time, you will be you know, absorbing all their problems, but not in the after 9 o'clock, okay? So no night biryani, no midnight biryani. Remember, sometimes people eat in the nighttime, heavy meal. So, so don't have it. Heart, you know, don't keep too hot, but hot or warm water bath or bed routine. Bed routine always helps. And the evening exercise, not before the bed. Light dinner, not heavy dinner. Pay attention to what you eat and drink. Pay attention. Okay. Don't go to bed. Don't go to bed hungry or stuff. Over stuff. Eat three to four hours before the bed. So that the three, four hours, the, the food will be digested. It's a digestion point of view. It's also very good. Not just only sleep point of view. Complete darkness in the bedroom is always important. Prayer before the bed helps. Pray. Spiritual is good at the same time. It also relaxes your brain, your mind. Sleep now. We have some products called sleep now, relax now, night walks. They are really helpful, you know. Um, but they, they have their own other works like night walks helpful for, you know, cardiovascular system. But it also soothes, you know, entire blood circulation. Cherries, fish, curd, banana. Remember this? No, I said B6, melatonin, and uh, tryptophan, magnesium, rich foods. So this comes under that. Cherries, fish, curd, banana, snacking. That also will help in the evening time. Okay. No drinking alcohol nor water before the bed because of toilet problem. No coffees nor teas or a fresh or herbal control. Okay. Three hours before the bed. Create a restful environment. Create a room that is ideal for sleeping. But you have to design, you have to plan for a good sleep. Limit daytime naps. If you if you sleep a lot in the daytime, night time where do you get sleep? So half an hour, 10 minutes, okay. 10 to 10 minutes, a small nap is okay. But not two to three hours daytime. If you sleep for longer hours, nighttime sleep will not come. Then you'll suffer. As I said, a fresh is good in the daytime, not in the nighttime. So three, four hours before, finish it off. Even herbal control also don't take. Herbal control also has caffeine, right? green tea, black tea and gulang tea. So shake is very good. In place of tea, in place of uh, chapati or roti, have shake. Shake is uh, same money but different style. Instead of roti, chapati, you know, all that, have shake. Shake is light on the stomach, easy digestion, less calories, all proteins, vitamins, minerals are taken care, easy for stomach also. And uh, night walks is very, very good. But in terms of heart problem, Dr. Louis Gnaro has discovered this for a good, you know, heart problem, not to get repeat, uh, any kind of heart attacks or any kind of, you know, strokes during the night time. Because nitric oxide levels goes down in the night time. So by having this, you know, you'll have a wonderful sleep as well as wonderful health also, wonderful heart, you know, heart health. And we also have sleep now and uh, uh, in Herbalife, uh, relax now products, only for to relax and to get a proper sleep. But some are available in India, some are available abroad. So be in touch with your coach, they'll be able to guide you where, where you can be able to obtain them. And uh, if you are looking for a personalized plan for you on diet and fitness and lifestyle, we are there to help you. And um, if you already have a Herbalife coach, already have a coach, talk to him. If you don't have any kind of that kind of Herbalife coach, you talk to us. We are there to help you. We give you the personalized diet plan and uh, you know fitness plan and lifestyle habits plan. So we, about us, I already explained about I have my certifications, our qualifications and all that. We are into this field for the last 18 and a half years. And to look at my Instagram, you can Facebook, you can go to Coach Gnana Raju, you can see me. And YouTube, you can see Gnana Raju. 
simple ordinary life. I also was like an ordinary person. I was also having big tummy in 26, 27 years. I also worked as assistant inspector general of recent stamps. I don't have all these kind of food discipline, sleep discipline at all. So fortunately, because of my wife, I came to this field and I was busy in my own style. I have my own stress and uh, I was uh, like any other person. I used to eat nighttime, daytime, midnight, biryani, all that. But after coming to here, you know, this uh, company, then I started understanding the value of it. I started following my discipline and my wife started losing weight. That's how our entire journey started after using the products. And you can see the transformation in her. She is now 44 years. Here she was 21, 22 years, a lot of transformation. And uh, here uh, I was 27 years, here now 52 years. So I'm 52 years young, looking healthy and younger. And my wife is 44, 52. Before he did in this picture, 27 and 21. New person, new lifestyle. And we preach whatever we practice. We talk from the heart, okay? You can see my plate. Then we also see, can see my exercises. I'm a full marathon runner. I do 42 kilometers running. My wife also does five kilometers running. My children also does. You know, they do 10 kilometers and half marathon. We are into fitness and nutrition, healthy lifestyle. And you can see my sons, you know, they grown taller. My wife and me, we became smaller, uh, you know, slimmer and children grown taller with the nutrition. And uh, we preach whatever we practice. We teach a lot of people. We are national level trainers. So we keep on traveling throughout the country. So you can trust us it's all because of great men like uh, great trainers like Jimran, our gurus, uh, topmost uh, trainers in the world, Mericom, our brand ambassador, Mericom and uh, Virat Kohli. We are happy to have these wonderful people. They, we saw their lifestyle and discipline and all that. So we are very fortunate to meet them. So Dr. Dana Ryan, Dr. Susan Bowerman, top most scientists, nutritionists, and um, you know professors and registered dietitians, Nobel Prize winners, Harvard doctors, top most top top class like Dr. David Heber in the in America is considered top five. You know Dr. John Agnobi is a health secretary, worked as health secretary in White House, and uh, Dr. Richard Henry Carmona, he was a 17th Surgeon General of America. So we are very fortunate to have them and get the training from these kind of great people. So that's why we have eyes are open. We could be able to, uh, you know, have an international perspective rather than national perspective. So to reach out to us, these are the phone numbers, emails and phone numbers. Everything is given. Please do contact us. And if you already have a coach, please talk to them. If no one is there, we are there to help you, right? So our goal is to make the world healthier and happier. So let us uh, do this. And if you like this video, uh, and you are getting good sleep. So please like this video and uh, share this video to many people. Subscribe to my channel. And uh, I thank you for your patience and your uh, att attention. And wish you all the best. God bless you. Thank you so much. Let us see you. Bye-bye.